All right, so just a short video on how to do the pivot table that we did today in class, just in case you missed it. So anytime I have raw data like this, I like to make the top row bold. That way, uh, make the entire row, row bold. There we go. Um, that way Excel assumes that is a header and we don't have to try to define it. And even though a lot of times it does work, it does make things easier. We have several rows of data, include about 645,000. So keep in mind, this is a fairly large data set. All right, to create a pivot table, we go to Insert and Pivot Table. And it selected all of our data. We can see that by the L645,000. And we're going to go to a new worksheet. All right, so we are going to bring down State because we want to summarize by State. We could actually pick any field. Uh, to since we are doing a count, but I'm going to bring down amount in case we do want to take summarize it instead by amount. So we need to change it to count. To do so, we're going to click on the drop down by sum of amount. We're going to go to value field settings, and we're going to change it to count. So this is the number of rows or number of loans for each state. I'm going to bring that same field down again and click on the drop down and value field settings. We do need to make sure it gets changed to count because we want our percentages to reflect a percentage of the count rather than a percentage of the sum. And then we're going to go to the show values as, which is the second tab, and change it to percent of column total. In this case, uh, column total or grand total would do the exact same thing. And click OK. Now the only thing left if we do some simple formatting, I'm going to right click on any number in column B. I'm going to select number format, which will format all the cells. Format cell would only uh, format the single cell. And I'm zero decimal places, thousand, and let's just format the percentage just to one decimal place. Okay, that is it. That is the short version or a quick version of how to do that pivot table that we did in class.